And we're back at Riptide. A uh, little bit of technical issues as there always are, but we are going to be continuing with round one. <laughs> oh, miscommunication. Technical yeah. issues, speaking Te of. Yes. <laughs> round one, we're still in round one. Uh, one of the matches that was going to take place off stream is now being moved to stream, um, which is a station that we can that we know is working. So we're still going to be in round one. We're going to be giving you guys Lemon versus Powerpuff Squids 2, I believe, because Powerpuff Squids are playing in the Splatoon 2 tournament. And my wife is on that team, but not on this particular version. So, so Powerpuff Squids 1 is playing Splatoon 2. I don't think they're 1. I think no, it's just, just Powerpuff just, Squids. Just, okay, you okay. know, it's like the Land Before Time is not right. Land Before Time 1. Right. It's just the Land but Before Time. But 2 is playing it, The 2 three. is the second one, yes. That's, uh, yeah, that's how those sequels usually work. Right, right. Um, so this match, um, Lemon... Uh, Lemons, I guess to say. We're lemons. expecting these guys to be pretty good. Mars, Flabber, Cuber, and a Deluge. Uh, we expect this to be. I, I, you know, I don't know what all teams are playing outside of the groups that we're commentating, but this is definitely, on paper, the strongest team that we have in this group, and should be a contender to do really well in top cut if, if they can escape the Powerpuff Squids. That is. Sure. Well, we'll see. Powerpuff Squids are pretty strong in their own right. Mothman, um, Dan the Man is going to be playing with Red Sun uh, tomorrow. Uh, Lappy, uh, who my wife said is just an absolutely incredible player. Uh, and I didn't catch who the fourth player that they have for this particular roster. Again, the roster is a little bit different from two to one. But still, Powerpuff Squids in their own right, that's a strong, pretty decently strong roster themselves. Yeah, a lot of familiar faces here. Um, it's good to see them show up at the LAN. It's, it's always fun to see everyone uh, in person when most of your community is just primarily online. So, uh, I mentioned the little Best Buy party that we had this morning. Uh, Mothman brought the donuts for that. And uh, Dan the that. man ate some donuts with that. So we had some people. I um, wonder if they had to get their things. <laughs> I wonder if they got their copy this morning to play it or if they're all playing digital. But there's some cheering going on on stage. That must mean people joined the lobby successfully. Yes, I've heard it is difficult to join a lobby in land mode. Well, okay, so it's a little That's bit different. I've heard. You know what? You know what's tricky is everybody's used to being uh, on airplane mode. Right. You, you don't get an airplane mode for Splatoon Three. You don't. Or As contrary reason. to the original meme, do not put your airplane. <laughs> do not put your switch <laughs> in airplane mode now. And it's also the, uh, the ch like, I, I just don't get why there's a cheat code you got to put in just to get into land mode in general, but there still is that. Um, but it is a, a different <laughs> button combination from what we're used to. Oh, my so. gosh. What is happening? I don't know. I think people are just. We're seeing some prayers going on to raise. I mean, I, I personally agree that raise is quite a profit in my eyes, but uh, wow, on stream. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I, I'm assuming we're going to have to stall for a little bit longer. Is what I'm looking at here. Uh, so, Jay, <laughs> Jay, how's your day going? This is, this is entertainment. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't listening. Like, I'm just seeing a lot of discourse going on stage. Um, I don't know if you can hear it. So, we we tested out a lot of this stuff last night, set up a lot of this stuff last night. Oh, we went keep late. in mind, we had to do it all with Splatoon 2 because we didn't have access to Splatoon 3 stuff, hardware, digital stuff at least, until midnight. Um, and I personally wanted to go to bed at a decent time. Um, so there's still, like, when everything happens tomorrow with Splatoon 2, I think it's going to be fine. But, yeah, it's just the matter of the connection stuff with this. And we expected this, all right? Now, we didn't know we could how to fix it all. But it was not a – it wasn't going to be a secret that this first one was going to have some issues that we just didn't know until they popped up. Right. Right now, Are they being, a, being a Splatoon producer right now is just kind of playing everything by ear and just coming up with solutions. <laughs> I mean, and believe me, a lot of these solutions are just not quite how they should be. Oh. But, you know, you got to learn the hard way. At least we're doing this. We're doing Low Ink next weekend. If we can just get through this sure. one all right. And it looks right. like, okay, so I, I just, I'm just interested in looking at the little load-up screen here, and it looks like they're all in the lobby. Um Wait, All in the, uh, the training room, it looks like. Right. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite part. You can have both teams 
Oh, see the other, each other teams in the room you can too, see I each other <laughs> and you can totally be toxic about it um but for the record no we will not punish you for squid pegging in the lobby no no it will punish you if you don't squid back back don't there just sit go. there and take that no don't take it you got it yeah. <laughs> two ways it goes two ways everyone the it's battle time. Round one yet again. Lemons versus the Powerpuff Squids. And we're going back to Splat Zones at Eeltail Alley. And I don't think we're going to see the Splat Tana this time around. But we do see a Tri Slosher with Ink Jet. And what I'm seeing is a Flingza. Someone really wants these missiles here. It's got to be. Lemons. Well, it's got to be Flabber. No, uh, not quite. Oh, no. Flabber's on the, uh, on the Tri Slosher Ink Jet. So that's somebody else. Um, on the side of lemons, using the uh, the missile spam weapon that we've all known, know and love, and the lappy on the side of powerpuff squids is uh, gonna rock with the range blast. We didn't get to use that in intensify, and I saw some intensify action. And if you don't know, intensify action <laughs> reduces your jump RNG, which lets you do stuff like that, pop gun. We haven't seen blasters in a while. Armor made it pretty difficult to use, but so far the powerpuff squids behind the power of this Lappy Blaster is just eating the lemons alive. I missed Range Blaster from Splatoon 1. Looking good right now. Let's hope that sticks around for a couple months. Um, but uh, Powerpuff Squids, again, already down to 60 points. Lemons got to start working to get that zone, but uh, there's such a good there's such a good defensive uh, wall kind of placed down by Powerpuff Squids, especially with the tactical cooler going up. And everyone's doing, well, I was about to say, everyone's doing a good job staying alive, but uh, there you go. And the jump out, I want to mention, when you have tactical cooler, jumps are instant. I, I'm not exaggerating. That, they are so fast. That's something I haven't even tested. But I've always just thought, if you got the juice in you and you're in that situation, why not just fight and try to trade out? If you get splatted, you can just come back it out as fast as you would jump back The anyway. respawn time's fast, but the jump is faster. Pop Fair enough. As we see the lemons get control of zone in their lemon color here. Oh, that's a that is a Inkazuka being fired. And again, it's gonna be difficult to land shots, except that one did just that. The vacuum being used in the middle of the zone as wow. well. I believe that is lock on the uh, on the jet here, doing enough job of keeping people away and absorbing the ink that uh, that the powerpuff squids were putting down in the zone. That vacuum is gonna be very critical for that use. Yeah, and we're seeing kind of a flip of a script here. Lemons kind of doing a good job pushing up here on Eeltail Alley. Uh, as you push into spawn, there's quite a few spots which are uninkable, so it could be a little more risky to get in there. But Powerpuff Squids, That's they have an out. opportunity to get that zone back, and with that wipeout, looks like they're going to get it with a hefty penalty on Lemons. Let's hope they can uh, keep this about halfway through the match's timer. <laughs> we'll see a game actually last five minutes. Who knows? But... <laughs> It, it might just come down to, to Lappy again. Lappy was able to get a quad, a little bit of a delay quad earlier, and that's what got Powerpuff Squids this initial opening push. But the vacuum being used again right now, and it's getting closer to zone to start uh, eating up some ink and firing down there. That vacuum's going to be really, I, I don't know how good it is, but it looks to be, if you fire it around the objective, to be a really good way for your team to get back into control of zone, even if you don't get a splat with it. But right now, all the splats are landing into the favor of the Powerpuff Squids, and they're gone for their penalty points, JPEG. Yeah, Powerpuff Squids, 30 ticks remaining, and they're doing a good job pushing up, not even letting Lemons uh, have an opportunity to even approach the zone. So let's see if they can keep it in lock here. Lemons here going to take the top route, which takes you direct access to that zone. But the Range yeah. Blaster on Lappy going to do a good job at denying that. And right now, it's a fight for the control of the zone. The Wave Breaker in... Uh, able to put down some paint or uh, put down some damage to the players that are in zone. Lemons able to hold on with the splat of Mothman in the zone. And now we see Flabber working around that left side, able to, to uh, pick up Squeeg as well. Lemons hangs on, but there's still a lot of time left on the clock. Plenty of time left, plenty of penalty to go through. It's going so back and forth. It can be, it's really anyone's game. I know that's cliche, but it really is right now. Um, <laughs> the ink vac on lock is ready. We're going to probably see that be popped out soon because it is the ultimate area of denial tool. You just hold that over the zone. No pain's going on that zone. Pop you know, I was talking to, to Dan at the at the parking lot earlier today mentioning that they wanted to do K-Pro and the, the splatter shot. They just didn't know they really have a feel for the ink zooka earlier as we see a few shots being fired right there and now the powerpuff squids did i say that it was lemons that was going to be the favorite to win this one they're 
this looks pretty even right now. Powerpuff Squid's giving them everything they can handle and about 40 penalty points away from taking the lead. Yeah, both teams looking really good right now, but you know, there can only be one winner in this game. And uh, right now, oh. Powerpuff Squids, if they can hold on to these penalties, they can get that lead that they so desperately need. But the ink jet plus the ink back gonna do such a good job at not only applying pressure, but denying pressure, allowing them to get that wipeout. The placement of the Tacticooler is gonna be so critical. You saw Powerpuff Squids throwing down a Tacticooler in zone, but nobody other than the Inzap was able to pick it up. So all those defs aren't gonna be quick respawn, and now they don't have to cap zone. They gotta completely take it over, and that's not going to happen. Lemons escapes game one at Eeltail Alley. Look and at it was map. not easy at all. Look at the map. It just tells a story about what this game looks like. Everyone was everywhere for those last 10 seconds. Just trying to figure out who do I need to get to get that zone back. And we already got people oh. unlocking poses. Oh, wow, what? I don't even this? I don't even know oh, what the poses little... are. <laughs> yeah, I'm so used to just seeing the little the, just seeing the, the default. The yeah. Poles there. The yeah. Pose. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> They've been grinding the game, I see. Wow. But yeah, that was <laughs> This is going to be a good set. <laughs> this is going to sure, be a good sure. set. Uh, and again, we, d we didn't get to see what the KAs were, but Lappy was going nuts with mm -hmm. that range blast. But again, no armor there to uh, to eliminate Blaster from the game. So you're going to see some more of those those weapons people have been begging to see other than the, the shooter class that we see. Now, you're still going to see a lot of shooters, sure. but it's those other quote-unquote non-meta weapons that are rearing their ugly head back around and are making an impact early on from what we're seeing on stream. For sure, and speaking of no armor, um, a lot of these specials I notice just require so much more presence in the objective. So when you see Ink Vac, Ink Jet, we saw game, those yeah. two get paired. You have to be at the zone, unlike a lot of Splatoon 2 specials like Ink Armor and Tenda Missiles where you can just kind of go off on some corner of the map and then pop it and suddenly you're helping your team. You have to really show up and that allows more aggressive gameplay um, and it basically matches like what you see there where everyone is on the zone just constantly throwing each other on there yeah i mean that's been the biggest complaint about it, especially late stage splatoon 2 is oh the the v jets off on the completely different side of the map not even playing the game but still affecting it with missiles yeah with that vacuum you got to be up in the action in the zone absorbing everything lock doing a fantastic job of that so this is uh, this is best of three, not play all three. So this is set point. That is, a, <laughs> I'm sorry, a clash blaster. Is that what I just saw right there? When's the last time we saw a clash blaster in a serious environment? Well, it's been a couple of years, <laughs> and right now this is a pretty serious environment, Pop Gun. I think uh, <laughs> we'll see how this works. But I'm more excited about Mothman busting out the Hydra. We didn't see Hydra being used at all in the Nintendo tournament, and that's its first tournament. Of, this is the first official appearance of Hydra on any competitive Splatoon 3 stream as uh, Powerpuff Squids trying to defend from the Lemons who are forced to kind of retreat a little bit here along this left side as uh, things have just kind of stalled out mid. lock trying to look for a pick, wisely backs off when they realize that the Hydra's got a full rev. And it's definitely Ooh. a lot more relevant for a mode like zones, but what I love about this map is you got those two sides flanking where the tower is in mid, allowing for a lot of opportunities for uh, pretty harsh flanks. <laughs> Jan, uh, Jan, Dan going in, realizing there's a vacuum absorbing everything, so nah, I gotta back up, never mind. Crab tank uh, being popped here way away from the action. Um, not really able to do anything. Kept up very conservative with that crab tank. I, again, I wonder if that's something you want to use a little bit closer, if you want to abuse at the range that it has there as well. But the Trizuka is a lot of range coming out from the Clash Blaster. As uh, finally, the tower is in control of Lemons. The question is, can they go anywhere with it? Something I've noticed on this map that's a little different from other Splatoon 3 maps is that the first checkpoint's actually quite far away. A lot of other Splatoon 3 maps, the checkpoint's They're actually right like there, on yeah. mid, which is interesting. Yeah, and I, I kind of like that. So you, right. it, it takes you a little bit to at least get the tower away from mid. So it keeps the fight in mid a little bit longer initially. You, you really but have that, to win. That vacuum on tower, that's something people have been talking about before the game even come out. Was that going to be the ideal special to use? To sit on tower and use the vacuum to disabsorb everything is like a shield to keep going forward with it. Right, what we saw last night, uh, the big bubbler seems to be pretty dominant on tower control, but uh, Inkback also does a pretty good job supplementing that. 
first checkpoint does fall into the favor of Lemons as they are uh, looking to end the set here 2-0. But right now, <laughs> swarming, not a lot of paint Ooh. for Powerpuff Squids to, to escape right there. But still, it's somebody on the right side. I might have been Mothman on the Hydra. Not recognizing wow. there's a roller right there. Like I said about those flanks. Uh, that wasn't quite a flank, but you know what I mean. <laughs> more of a sharking situation. But again, without the, the wave breaker we've used to been seeing, it's harder to locate some of those players. Finally seeing some missiles be used like they were in Splatoon 2. But gonna displace them a little bit, not gonna get many picks up. And uh, Powerpuff Squid's looking pretty good. They have the main advantage here, uh, but they're just having a hard time kind of pushing up enough and getting the picks they need to really make a good push at that tower. Right now, this is the uh, first legit opportunity that the Powerpuff Squids have to clear that first checkpoint. And once they do that, it's basically going to be a tie game. Uh, they do got some ways to go, but Lappy starting to get heated up yet again. And this first checkpoint looks like it's in danger of falling in favor of the Power Squids. It was helping his Mothman right in that tower with the Hydra, providing a good, oh. good supportive role and uh, riding the jumps they need when players go down. Missile is going to take them off the tower a little bit. And oh, it's a wipeout. wipeout on the side of Powerpuff Squids, but they did get the lead. They do get the lead. That's not the lead you want, though. Again, another awkwardly thrown uh, tactical. Or it's it, kind of like you said, you got to be engaged in the action and find a good spot thrown it in front of the tower. I think the tower might have destroyed yes, the tactical, yes. actually. I uh, I have observed this in a previous Nintendo tournament. The tactical does get destroyed by the tower. I think it's one of the only objects in the game that can destroy it, so you kind of got to keep that in mind. <laughs> from a minute but, uh, 10 left to go here. Libbins once again trying to have uh, going to have to come back from the deficit that the Powerpuff Squids have put onto them. But two players instantly going down from the side of Lemons as the Power Squids starting to push up here with Tacticooler in favor. <laughs> oh, okay, trying to do a little bit of a squid roll into a jump. That's another thing that we're just gonna have to see more players get comfortable with over the course of time. A trade there on the right side, but trades are gonna go in favor of the team that is currently in the lead, and that's still the Powerpuff Squids. And that's a good place they want to be in because their comp is a lot more defensive with the Hydra and a lot of painting tools to splash in the Zap. And the Blaster does a good job with the area denial. So uh, right now, what Powerpuff Squiz wants to do is just sit back, relax, and let the let Lemons come to them. And you want to, oh, they're, py they're firing their Booyah Bomb early. This is the only, I think the only weapon that has Booyah Bomb right now is Hydra. And Bo uh, Booyah Bomb is the ultimate GG special in tower control. And now Mothman's just going to have to desperately try to get it back. Um, because they already used it a little bit early there. And yeah. now the rest of the players are starting to fall. And this is a great opportunity for Lemons to try to get back into this one. But a huge pick on Locke. And now it's just the Clash Blaster left holding the tower with the Range Blaster having the range advantage. Able to get one player. Mars jumps back in. And more and more players are starting to jump back in right now. And now it's just the end zap. That oh. is a wipeout. That is game. And Powerpuff Squids bounce back to take game two. For sure, Popkin. And what you saw there was just a good, good show of defense. I mean, we saw we saw Lappy's blaster there do such a good job getting all that chip damage down to kind of get that final few picks that they needed to secure the win. In uh, okay, so we I want to talk about the missiles because we saw the missiles right. in action there, and obviously missiles displace, especially anchor players mm -hmm. hate going up against missiles. But the the difference here is that. As of where the game is right now, there's not a bunch of shooters that have it. You can't just fire off missiles after missiles after missiles. Mm -hmm. You're not running for your life the entire game. You're just running for your life maybe six or seven times over the course of the five minute and some change. That's much easier to deal with because it's just one weapon that has it. And again, if somebody wants to do missile spam, have fun with Flings a Goo Tuber. It, <laughs> right. If it's just one player firing missiles, it's not that bad. Yeah, you're being displaced, but so does every other special. You're telling me Booyah doesn't displace people? The vacuum isn't displacing people? We saw some people have to retreat whenever Locke fires the vacuum. So it's not going to be as bad, at least for now. Just right now, yeah. <laughs> it's not, missiles aren't going to be that bad compared to all the other specials in the game. I don't even think it's the best special in the game right now. I, no. I, I think it'd be... I, I don't. I, I'm not going to sit here and announce what I think is, but I don't think it's missiles are that strong anymore. Right, right. And another factor of that is there's just a lot less frequent specials in Splatoon 3 because most specials now require 200 points of turf. Yeah, it's or more. To get. Um, so it's a lot harder to get your special, but it's a lot more impactful when you get it. Well, it's also 
keep in mind, people don't have the uh, special charge built mm -hmm. built up yet. Right, <laughs> right. Again, the abilities. So there's probably ways for people to. We're gonna find ways to spam missiles, but it's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be more than just one flingsa if you want to be as annoying as it's constantly been in the past. Right. This if you want to get gear, you gotta have some friends here that have all the amiibos. Which uh, I oh, know, yeah, I know yeah. a couple. <laughs> I already got all the amiibo gear. <laughs> the land meta. How you gotta, <laughs> yeah. I'd bring all the amiibos. <laughs> Game three of this best of three, Raymaker at Hammerhead. Uh, apparently, a controversial map as we see. Well, uh, okay, okay. I've heard about it. I've heard people complain. <laughs> people complained about everything here. No, uh, real, you're not wrong. <laughs> no real changes from the side of Lemon sticking with the same comp they've been using. Uh, Dan opting to go with the Splash O Matic, still the crab tank that they were using. Though. Right, and I've seen the dynamo on the side of Lemons, which is going to provide a good, uh, good bit of defense. A lot of pain, especially on such a thin map like Hammerhead Bridge. Soda's being consumed by Lemons early uh, as they're now starting to push up into the enemy side of the map. Not really looking to pop the Rainmaker just yet, but Juice is coming back out on the side of the Power Puffs. And two players instantly going down. Make that three, but they had the Juice, so it's not like they died at all. They're right back where they were. You just saw their icons go away for a little bit, but can they respond back in fast enough to shut down this pedestal getting stolen and not? It, no. Able to pop the Rainmakers onto the pedestal, just frames before dying. The checkpoint's gonna kinda help them out. It stops the Rainmaker, it lets them repop and uh, kinda recuperate there. So, only 77 points, which <laughs> if it was Splatoon 2, it would've been so much more. Yeah, well, if that was Splatoon 2, that push would've been bad. You just got the 77 and done nothing. But since they cleared the checkpoint, that push is gonna help them out later into the set. So they got value out of that push that they weren't normally going to get in the previous game. But uh, for right now, they hold control of lead and a lot of time left to go in this clock, but being consumed by both teams. So that means players are just gonna keep spawning back in. This is gonna be a bloodbath. Yeah, not only are we seeing a lot of juice, I'm seeing a lot of blue pop gun. The Lemons really changed up their comp to support a lot of painting power. They're doing such a good job just out painting the power post. Wait, right is now. that the Dynamo? Yes, that is the Dynamo. I thought it was the Flingza. No, okay. they have switched to Dynamo, which is That's doing a good job. That's why they got more juice out there. Right, they're okay. getting so much more paint on the ground and a lot more juice going out. Okay, yeah, I thought that was the Flingza, but yeah, they're going with that uh, the double soda comp right now. And right now it's just lock left uh -oh. alive, but the You can't the do anything about that, just oh, went no. through it. <laughs> oh no, the worst time to use it. It seemed like a good idea until the Rainmaker's like, oh wait, you can't kill me, just I'm just there. gonna go. Right. If only there was a teammate to paint. I mean, they can't paint, so uh, <laughs> it was just bad timing, I guess. Oh wow, okay, so that is a pretty significant score. And keep in mind, they have a full checkpoint lead as well. They haven't gotten to that first pedestal yet, but still, two minutes and 30 seconds left to go. Lemons has the firepower that they need to get back into this one, but right now they're struggling to get the Rainmaker to mid. It's gonna be so hard getting past that first checkpoint, especially against a Jess Vulture and a Dynamo. Look how much soda's on the oh map right now. <laughs> this might be a sign for the sign of times to come, Pop. <laughs> It's going to be vending machines all over this place, so be it. Uh, Powerpuff Squid's recognizing they just have to hold this first checkpoint. They don't want to overextend. It changes how you play defense knowing that you just have to hold certain areas and not just go back. Normally, you could have you could have a team back all the way up because uh, if they could just have to get to 15 remaining to get lead, they got a long way to go. But that forces uh, Powerpuff Squid's to play defense a little bit closer to mid as well. Yeah, I was just watching an ink back. It's such a good special because not only can you uh, displace the enemy team, but you get that one last firing shot that lets you kind of just make your big move. You can't but, be the last player left alive, though. Right. Easy. It's best used with some teammates. But the first checkpoint does fall into the favor of Lemons. The first, the only checkpoint should fall right there. At about a minute 20 left to go here, Sweet gets oh. taken down as we see some ink jets forcing Mothman to jump back. And here's your opportunity. A lot of paint getting put down, but a great shutdown by Dan without the use of the crab tank, but doesn't get the trade with the juice. And now all those players are going to jump right back in. They have a great opportunity to try to get lead here if they can slip right through. No, the Splatling had a rev going. It's going to be hard, especially oh. with that weight break, but it gets broken. Wow, Rainbow Shield <laughs> does a lot of damage. It's easy to forget that. <laughs> 
Oh, but the but vacuum! The, get it. the perfect use of the vacuum! Oh, it giveth and it taketh oh, away! Oh my <laughs> goodness, and the perfect use of the vacuum once again! Oh, we wow! See, we see both sides of the coin on the vacuum. Not only the supportive roll, but that final blast. <laughs> we able to get the cleanup right there, but yeah, <laughs> the vacuum cost them the lead, but it took it right back for them. And now 30 seconds left to go. We're back to Splatoon 2 Rainmaker. No checkpoints and one wipeout without juice could be the difference here and get Power Puff Squids back into this game. If you're new to watching Splatoon, this is not a close game. It's really anyone's game still. Last 15 seconds, all it takes is one KO. They just got to take them to that goal to win. 10 seconds left to go here. The Crab Tank trying to lead the way for somebody to, to make a play right here. More juice is on the field, and that's the thing. You basically got to wipe them twice if you want to find an opportunity to get through here. The Blaster go down. Mothman safe for now, but another vacuum building up uh, building up a blast that's going to be fired directly at the Rainmaker at any second. Mothman doesn't recognize it. Oh, no. And that is going to be Lemons surviving a scrappy set against the Powerpuff Squids. <laughs> what a set right there, and what a what a showcase for what Vacuum can, the strengths and weaknesses that the Vacuum has. Yo, know, when Vacuum was first shown, I thought it'd be like super overpowered on Spy Zones, but right there on Rainmaker with such a fast-paced objective, it really showed up right there. And I think just not recognizing what the Vacuum was trying to do there. It wasn't just trying to keep people back. It was basically building up its own version of a Booyah Bomb to fire directly at the Rainmaker. And once they recognized, Mothman was like, oh, I'm safe, but then right. found out and a little too late. Everyone in an alternate timeline, everyone had that figured out. You could see everyone was hiding, <laughs> playing so patiently. What helps is the overtime actually shows the timer now. So That's true. You don't have That's to true. guess. Everyone was just waiting behind a wall, but Mothman unfortunately gets hit by that vacuum shot. Wasn't quite communicated that part. <laughs> that was a great set. And that is the dramatic end of round one. It, we, we got through it. And uh, hopefully we two are round set up. Ones. Two round ones in this very round. Hey, we get extra match that we get to commentate. That's, mm -hmm. that's what that means. Extra but, uh, content with the new game. <laughs> content. Content. That's content. Hey, that, that's, that was content. That, that was, was content. That was good. That for was a good sure. showcase for things. To, to come and again we're watching that set in the future we're going to be like why didn't they just back up with the why did they pop vacuum right there and give up that lead and why did they not back up when the vacuum was being used but it's just a lot of figuring out things as we go um both in game and on the technical side but there we go round 